This is Denver 7 On Demand. I'm Jacqueline Allen with the latest from Denver 7. The lives of Shanann Watts and her two daughters, Bella and Celeste, were remembered at a funeral in North Carolina today, nearly three weeks after they were killed in Frederick. Instead of flowers, the family's asking people to donate to the Lupus Foundation of America, the Frederick Police Department Missing Persons Division, or the St. Jude's Children's Hospital. A man has come forward claiming to be a missing person from decades ago out of Colorado Springs. He's claiming to be Christopher Abeda, who went missing back in 1986 after his family woke up and found the crib empty. Right now, DNA testing is being done to see if there's a match. The Abeda family says they're hopeful, but police plan to wait on the DNA. Thousands of people are packing downtown Denver for the city's biggest food celebration. The Taste of Colorado is underway at Civic Center Park. The event runs through Monday and includes free concerts from bands like REO Speedwagon and Smash Mouth. And from the First Alert Weather Center, here is a look at your seven-day forecast. Nice today, but your Labor Day weekend will see some storms and showers, and it will stay in the upper 70s and 80s throughout the week. This has been your Denver 7 On Demand update. Thanks for joining us. Check back here later tonight for another update, and download the Denver 7 app for breaking news and alerts. I'm Jacqueline Allen.